What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Tristan Tanner, part of Team Latitude 64. Today is going to be a little bit more of a casual video. I'm just out at Kit Carson Park, going to play around with just this Gladiator. This is going to be a, a traveling disc that we have through the three Trilogy teams this year. So definitely keep an eye out for your favorite pros or anyone that you know that, that are on the team. Um, to have this disc later in the year, we're all going to be trying to post uh, some things on social media about it. But I've thrown it a couple times. Great flying disc. Uh, this is just going to be a, a lot of shots, not as many hole descriptions in this video. Let me know how you like it down in the comments, and let's get right into it. Got the best putt ever, right there. I gotta give a quick shout out to Stuart McIsaac from Vancouver area in BC who started the traveling disc. Uh, he loves the Gladiator, go check him out. He just did a review of the E4 and the Core Pro bag from Latitude 64, so go check those out and give him a follow. He loves the Gladiator. Thanks for starting this, Stuart. If any of you are in the California or Southern California area and you haven't checked out Kit Carson Park, then definitely check it out. It's a beautiful park, a lot of cool shots. Uh, it's an older course, I think. It's where the Daniel Bow is at, and it's just a fun course. I'm really pleasantly surprised by this Gladiator. This is my first time really messing around with Gladiators. This one's recycled. I just really haven't given them any thought because of the Ballista Pro, but it has really nice stability. I think they're more overstable than they get credit for, but they're still very workable. You can force them on lines. This is a recycled one, so it's even less stable than most of them probably. I'm not sure exactly on the stability, but definitely something I'm gonna be mess around with a little bit more. Uh, after that last shot, I literally just spent probably about 45 minutes looking for that disc. In, you can see there's rocks and stuff over there but literally there's no place to lose a disc. It was just like, happened to be the same color as the sand it was sitting right under. So annoying, I ended up getting it back though, but just so annoying. Thank you. 
Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into the video. Be sure to check out the Gladiator on Latitude64 or store.latitude64.se or on dynamicdisc.com. Uh, these fly amazing. It's something I'm going to be messing around with. Thanks again to Stuart for hooking the team up with this. I'm not sure who this is going to next. You can follow me on social media just uh, to figure that out. I'll uh, be posting something when I hand it off to the next person. Tune in to next week's video, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.